Hi guys, I have not done a get ready with me in so long, um, especially not with makeup. So I got the itch yesterday, I had some time and so I went to Ulta and I bought the makeup products that I've been wanting to buy for over a year now. <laughs> it takes me a long time to really bite the bullet and buy new makeup because I do have so much and because Maybelline um, and other drugstore brands that you can get from Walmart are so good. Um, but I've really been wanting to try Juvia's Place and so I went and I bought foundation, um, I bought concealer, all the things, all the bronzer. So we're going to try all of that today as I get ready to go to my little cousin Addie Kate's first birthday party. Um, and so I have some time and I gave myself enough time. So we're going to do a get ready. All right. So I have moisturized my face. Um, the redness is not hitting on tan today. So that's good. Um, and I'm going to go in first with the Juvia's Place I Am Magic uh, Natural Radiance Foundation. So it says to shake well. Um, and disclaimer, I did try testers in Ulta, but there is no guarantee that because I tried the testers that this is gonna be my shade. This is the shade Caracas. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it's my shade. <sighs> okay. So it's got like this little like nub thingy, which confused me a lot in the store. I guess it's just like a plug um, for the foundation. So whatever. I'm going to put some of this on my beauty blender, which kind of like matches the vibe. Okay, that comes out quickly. <laughs> Be careful. Uh, I'm going to put some of that back in the tube. Jeez. Okay. I was not expecting it to come out like that full force, but I mean, it is like a full makeup product, so I don't, it's been a minute since I, <laughs> since I played with makeup, clearly. Okay. I'm just going to like put this, okay, it looks really, really yellow and like not my shade at all. <laughs> I'm hoping the lights of Ulta did not lie to me um, because it was really like cool toned in the store so let's see okay and i really like the smell of this this smells like really hydrating i'm gonna try not to look at you guys so i can actually do this makeup correctly i'm gonna pull a jeffree star like this this smells like bananas i'm not even kidding this smells like bananas and it's really light it doesn't feel cakey at all it just feels like i kind of have like moisturizer on I love that this smells like bananas <laughs> okay so I have got it on and it is showing up like pretty yellow on camera which to be honest with you in the store yesterday it gave me no yellow at all like it was perfectly my shade it matched the back of my hand like exquisitely there's still some makeup on there from yesterday but I I'm not mad at it it looks really good I really like it so and it smells really good <laughs> it smells like bananas I'm not even joking so okay. I hope I just didn't waste a ton of that by accidentally opening it wide up okay so foundation is on and I think it's going to look like I'm going to have to do some more blending on my neck because I'm wearing a, um, you know, wearing, I'm wearing a dress actually to this thus far and it is showing like my paleness. So I feel like my face is going to automatically look like it doesn't match, but whatever I like it it is definitely coming up yellow on camera let me see if I can adjust my okay I mean it doesn't look as I think I'm just freaking out because I haven't had makeup on in a minute so looks good foundation is a hit I love it so now I'm gonna use the Juvia's Place concealer I'm using a 19 um that's a shade name, 19. So, and also this concealer was a good match in the store. So, okay. 
Okay. That's all I need, I think. Um, it, initial thoughts are it feels really good and it's a little bit lighter than, let's see, than the camo concealer that I've been using. Um, as you can see, I probably need a new concealer, but I think it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and blend it. Okay. Okay, this concealer, like it scared me at first. Obviously I'm being very scared at first because these colors are like coming out differently than I thought, but they actually do match in the way that I was thinking. It doesn't like, it's not standing out significantly from the foundation color, which was my goal because guys, I'm a little bit embarrassed and I'm kind of glad I deleted all my old makeup videos because this, was the concealer that I was using and going out like going to work going places with white concealer under my eyes so it is a desire of mine to not do that anymore and to actually get a concealer that like matches my my foundation first and foremost but also like matches my tone that I'm going for so okay Y'all, this concealer is really good. I'm not even lying. This concealer is like really good. It's blending seamlessly into the foundation. Like I didn't have trouble blending it out at all. Like this looks, this looks good. I really like this. My under eyes feel snatched and clean and they have not felt snatched and clean in such a long time. Cause I don't wear makeup at all anymore. <laughs> I'm so lazy, I, like I just really don't feel like getting up in the morning and putting it on, so that's why I don't. So, there's that. But anyway, so the foundation is on, it's looking really, really good, I really like it. I'm trying to determine if I've blended it out right, or enough. I think I have, I think I'll just bounce a little bit more. Just to make sure. Okay. Now, I don't have any, Juvia's Place didn't have any eyebrow um, products from what I could tell. So I'm just gonna go really quickly and do my Maybelline Tattoo Studio pomade with this little brush and try to like do some natural looking eyebrows instead of like I painted them. So come back in a minute and we'll see. Okay. So I think I've done a good job of making a natural looking brow or what a natural looking brow for me looks like. Um, Cause I don't have a lot of pigment or hair on my brow. So I think that this is good. I'm looking in the mirror and it doesn't, it doesn't look awful. So I'm gonna take that as a win. And they're not like super dark, but they're still like definitely definition. So that's what I was going for. So yay. And this doesn't have to be perfect because this is like, like I said, my first time doing makeup in a while. So I also bought the Juvia's Place Bronzed and Medium. Um, so I got Medium because number one, I feel like the pigment's gonna be fine and I love that there's like a warm and a cool tone like shade, so that's fine. So because I'm wearing like brown today, I think I'm gonna go, I don't know. This one is more like, I, this is the one from Tula, like this is the shade that I would normally use and then this is probably the color of the one that I have by Maybelline, let me show you. And it's darker than both of them. So I think this one's gonna compliment me better, especially because I'm trying to do more like natural, like you're pretty, not like you tried really hard. Like I feel like a lot of my other ones were. So um, I'm gonna go with this one on top and just see what it does. Okay. Actually, let me look in this mirror. It comes with a mirror, so that's cool. And actually, I can't see. So I'm gonna use this one. I just needed to like actually get some product on the brush. And like I said, like I'm not used to having a like soft 
Yes, okay. Yeah, this is perfect. It's just a soft, like, you're definitely bronzed and sculpted, but it doesn't look like a harsh line. Like the pigment just kind of like is buildable. So I like that. Okay. Yeah, this is a ton better. And I think I honestly used too much on the side, like looking at it on camera, like not, not really. I'm gonna make the other side match but it's it's good now this side of my face feels like it looks dirty oh well we're learning so i'm gonna go around my face and warm up these areas around my hairline especially when i wear my hair in a ponytail i like to really like bronze around the edges just makes it look better to me and this may not be the way that you apply bronzer but this is how I apply and not you like as in you watching like as in like the professional like this is what you should do if you're gonna put bronzer on type of way so but I have previously bought this warriors palette by Juvius and it's just got some neutrals, some glitters, stuff like that. So I don't want to go like super heavy. I say that and then it turns super heavy. <laughs> I don't want to go super heavy today. Um, so I think, I normally don't like to do glitter all over my lid. Um, but I think for today's purposes, I'm going to go with this shade. And it's called Amina. I'm just gonna like stamp it in there like so. So let me get my mirror so I can actually see. Okay, and it's like not showing up super good on camera so that's a good sign. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little on my lower lash. All right, I'm gonna take my blending eyeshadow brush that's like my favorite I got it in a ipsy bag like forever ago and it's my favorite I don't even know the brand the brands not on here anymore and at that point in time I was not big into brands when I got this so okay so a good thing to note that I've not noticed about these before because like I said I never wear just glitter shades but the more that you like blend these out on the edges they do turn like a little bit matte so that's nice i really like that about them so it makes it not like so harsh to blend out and their shadows are like really good quality too like the swatches that you'll do in ulta like you'll be able to tell that these are good quality really pigmented if you want them to be and subtle if not which is not usual so i like it okay just a light we're not doing too much today type of thing um i do want to put some eyeliner on just because i feel like it makes my mascara always look better so i looked for eyeliner and they did have some but it was like the sharpen sharpening kind and I'm not a big fan of that just because I've had some in the past that like did not do it for me oh and I've broken my liquid eyeliner by Tarte oh there it goes okay this thing has had it and I should have gotten another one and I was gonna and then I was like no I'll just use this one until the wheels fall off well they're about to fall off so Hopefully I don't mess this up. Yeah, it's, it's a struggle with this. And now I'm irritated because how am I going to get this off? No, that did not do it. This is what happens when I do makeup and I don't.
always, always gonna have her do it. Okay, crisis averted. This has made my beauty blender smell so good, it smells like bananas. Okay. I'm gonna try to get this off. If it doesn't come off, it's not the end of the world. So, I'm gonna try to fix this. I'll be back. Okay, against my wishes, I needed to make it a little bit thicker because it was like starting to bleed in certain places because it's just oozing everything right now. So, not exciting. But Juvius does not have mascara as far as I know. So I got this Maybelline Bounce Curl and honestly the reason I got this it was nine bucks and it was the cheapest mascara I could find and I feel honestly like all Maybelline mascara is like pretty similar for the most part. It's all super good and I didn't want to pay $23 for a mascara from another brand. So we're going with this one. And I just messed it up. That's that eyeliner. I just want to be pretty. Gosh. Just one time. I want to be pretty. Where nothing happens. Nothing tries to derail me. I'm going to curl it with my eyelash curler. I know you're probably not supposed to do this after you put it on. But. The only other thing that I did not get from Juvius was a highlighter. And that's just because I am very partial to my broken, expired Jeffree Star <laughs> cosmetics highlighter. I got this in a mystery box. You can go back and watch that video. It's actually the first video on my channel, I think. Uh, mystery frost skin frost highlighter I've dropped it it has busted and that's not from use that's just from like what was not usable anymore but I like I'm not going to get another highlighter until this one is over with so just letting you know I guess I could have swatched a couple of the ones in the store just to say like whether I like them or not but if they're anything like how the bronzer goes on, um, and if it's anything like the eyeshadows, I feel like it's gonna be, you know, it'll be pretty like buildable. Like you can have it as blinding or as not as you would prefer, which is good because you want options, especially, you know, one product or not. Put this highlighter in here, even though my whole lid is like glittery. But this is the face and I must say overall, I'm really happy that I bought all of these products. Um, the concealer was great. The foundation was great. The bronzer was great. I mean, there's just really like no part of this that I dislike. So 10 out of 10 Juvia's Place, I highly recommend. And um, I can't wait to run out of this Jeffree Star highlighter <laughs> so I can try theirs. Um, the only product that I bought that I didn't show was this powder foundation in the shade Bogata. And I was going to use that as like a setting powder for like under my eyes, but I kind of got scared because I don't want it to like mess it up. So I'm gonna use this at a later time and I will be sure to come back and show you. Um, but yeah, I'm just really, I really like this look. It looks really good. I'm gonna turn my beauty lights down a little bit, but it looks good. I really like it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and if you enjoyed this content, leave me a comment down below letting me know and let me know if there are any brands that you'd like to see me try next. Um, like I said, I just really appreciate you guys being here and being open to the disc golf content, being open to the makeup content, just whatever I feel like posting. It really means a lot that you guys support everything that I do. 
Um, I'm going to do some filming today while I'm at my little cousin's birthday party. So there may or may not be like a vlog or something coming from that. But also update, um, I'm posting a lot more frequently on TikTok. So I'm doing sh like shorter vlog style videos on TikTok. So if you want to see more frequent content, uh, shorter form content from me there, I would recommend following me. My at, as always, is Kit Hardy, so you can go check me out. Um, but yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, leave me a thumbs up or a comment, and I would love to have you subscribe to the channel and join us. Um, I am trying to get to 100 in no, no certain amount of time. <laughs> I understand my content is sort of all over the place with like themes and whatnot, but I really appreciate you being here and enjoying it with me. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next one.